you know what? We need to encourage this administration to go take out Iran's nuclear capability. Uh, I mean, obviously, for Iran to continue spinning centrifuges for, for over a year and not even slow down those centrifuges for the purpose of discussion, and then when you find out that actually uh, going from 5% to 90% enrichment only takes a small room and uh, maybe a, a dump truck load full of uh, the proper 5% enriched uranium, and voila, you, you can start having bombs. Uh, this is serious stuff, and, and I don't think that we ought to put Israel in position of having to save both themselves and the United States. I think it's time to bomb Iran, anything that resembles a nuclear uh, facility that was with centrifuges, it's time to bomb. And uh, we need to make clear to Iran, you can play these silly games with our president that buys into them and our secretary of state, but the American people aren't buying it, and you're going to pay a price. We, we have got to get that message across. Or there'll never be a diplomatic solution unless they know we're serious about coming and taking out what they're trying to do. Yeah, I have to think that they were probably the only ones more disappointed last night than uh, <laughs> President Obama. Uh, <laughs> You're probably right. But, uh, yeah, they they were hoping that uh, they would get a weak-kneed leader. But even Herzog, as I understand, uh, the more liberal leader that, that was and, and still is vying for prime minister, uh, I I think he wants to defend Israel as well. But, uh, you know, Iran is a threat to them, a threat to us. I told Prime Minister Netanyahu uh, two years ago, uh, privately in his office, I am so sorry that we have put you in a position, uh, basically, of defending not only Israel, but of defending the United States, because these guys are a threat to us as well. Uh, But maybe I'm hoping and praying that the president will realize uh, despite the agenda he has that's put Christians in jeopardy around the world, uh, that he will not want to leave the Democratic Party so devastated that they won't recover for many decades that maybe he'll start being more helpful to Israel instead of slapping them around as an unwelcome uh, visitor and start treating them like a friend. And uh, maybe once he starts doing that, he'll realize we do need to bomb Iran's nuclear uh, facilities that we know of and anything they move to fix, uh, we bomb that as well.